Hello everyone! Welcome to today's video. I haven't posted something in a while so I thought it was time to film another video and today I will be sharing with you guys what I've been buying in the last two months. So we have some secondhand clothes and I have some bath and body products and some books and I hope you enjoy this and let's get into the video. <laughs> first I thought I would start with clothes and I want to make a quick little disclaimer um 2021 <laughs> I've decided is the year that I quit fast fashion and it's I should have done this a long time ago the fashion industry is just very very terrible for the environment I want to make a whole YouTube video about the fashion industry and um I've been like slowly starting to buy less clothes from companies like Zara, the Inditex group, H&M, all those kind of brands. Um, but even more expensive brands like Free People, Anthropology are just as bad for the environment and just as bad to their employees as all those other brands. And as I said, I'm going to make a whole video about this. I wrote an article about this. I did loads of research and um, yeah, I just kind of decided I'm gonna stop buying so many clothes, I'm gonna start consciously buying clothes and um, if I buy clothes it'll be either second hand or it will be from a sustainable company which sustainable companies are really expensive, this is definitely a privileged position to be in to decide not to buy fast fashion anymore, I'm completely aware of that but I just kind of want to, you know, I'm in the position where I can make that change and where I feel like I should make that change and I really care about sustainability and the environment. So here I am. And the two places where I've been buying all the stuff that I acquired over the last few months is from Depop and Vinted. There's this thing with Depop that a lot of things on there are overpriced and um, so it's not my favourite place to buy stuff because a lot of the time they'll make it more expensive than the original price that they bought it for which i don't love <laughs> but um yeah on vinted i i do think i prefer vinted just because there's less people on there so um there is less false information people don't tag the wrong brands as much so if you look for something you actually get it and i feel like vinted is just not you know it's not as mainstream so um there's less buyers and less sellers on there so it's a smaller community and it's kind of i don't know a bit nicer i feel like on there and the website is a lot easier to navigate than depop so um yeah i definitely prefer vintage but if you want to check out some online places to second shop some second hand stuff definitely recommend those both because obviously like corona prevents us from doing secondhand shopping in real life so yeah and so what i'll be doing i'll show you the things and then i'll probably show you uh clips of me wearing them as well so you can get an idea of what they actually look like on me but yeah let's start with um this cute little top that i got from vintage and um it's just kind of a crop top like very similar to what I'm wearing right now and I think it's really cute. It has the Birth of Venus, just the less famous version of it, you know? So um, I don't know. I, I like the look of it. I don't have any other than this one that I'm wearing right now. I didn't have any of these kind of tops and um, as I'm becoming more comfortable in my own body, <laughs> I thought I should get one of those, you know? And I also got a long sleeve shirt which has like these cute little flowers on them and it just gave me spring vibes and I don't have long sleeve t-shirts for some reason. I just have jumpers or t-shirts. Um, so I thought a long sleeve shirt would just be nice and it's a nice length as well so it's not cropped because you know you need to be in the mood for a cropped shirt I feel like. <laughs> so yeah I think this one's really cute. And um, I also got this, just like this cropped 
black shirt which has a lot of stains on it right now <laughs> i need to put it on the wash um but yeah and it's just like that kind of like baseball top kind of style i feel like that was like really trendy a couple years ago but i just think this is like so cute for i think i wore this in a video actually <laughs> so yeah i just i don't know I, for some reason i really like these kind of shirts and i've never had one and it was really really cheap so i was like <laughs> you know why not and um then i got this shirt again with a painting on it this one is frida Kahlo, and i have a thing for black shirts with graphics on them for some reason i have loads of them like i have one with romeo and juliet from the film i have one <laughs> that says like fuck the system with like a meme on it um yeah i'm just a sucker for oversized t-shirts and because you can layer them with like a turtleneck or something underneath i don't know i really like that kind of style and i wear these literally every day so i thought one with frida Kahlo, who is an icon a beautiful amazing artist that i absolutely love i think um her story and her art is really really inspiring and interesting and if you don't know about her you should definitely look her up and read about her there's a really really cool graphic novel i'm gonna try and put a picture of it that i read um last year or the year before it's absolutely amazing and goes very deep into her mind and art and life and chef's kiss but yeah that's why i was like oh this shirt calls my name <laughs> yeah so now on to some sustainable active wear brands um the first one is tala wear um it's very very famous in the uk i feel like i don't know i see it everywhere and they have these really cute sports bra kind of tops like this is a very thick material but it's also very stretchy um i think i got like a really small size but like it holds my boobs in amazingly for when i go for a run and like you know can zip it up or not zip it up <laughs> and i was kind of inspired by grace um on bookstagram she had this uh she posted this pic with like a black version of this top where she's like cosplaying nesta and it just i don't know she looked amazing in it and i was like <laughs> i'd been looking at this top from tala wear for a really really long time so it was like oh it's, it's it gotta happen you know <laughs> So yeah, and Tellaway, as I said, they are like slow fashion and sustainable fashion. So they produce pieces out of really good quality and you can tell this is really good quality. And then um, they make sure that they have things that you can just wear for a really long time and things that won't be out of trend in a few years or like in a few months even, you know, which is one of the biggest issues with the fashion industry. But yeah, um, the next two things I got were from this brand called Oko, I think. Is it called Oko? I think it's called Oko. And they are also a sustainable fashion, uh, sustainable active wear brand that I found through Molly um, on Bookstagram again. And um, I got these like tie-dye leggings, which they feel like Lululemon leggings, but are like a lot cheaper. And I don't know, I just, these are amazing. They feel like a second skin layer, you know, like it literally melts into you. And I feel like I have quite a few leggings that are quite tight, which I do like while I'm working out, but it also feels like I'm being very much constricted. Whereas these just like, they just form onto my body and it feels great, you know? So very much love these. And I also got one of their sports bra tops, which um, very cute. I like the color and it makes, you know, it just looks nice on. <laughs> and I'm very happy about it. But yeah, that is all the clothes that I got. Um, Next, I'm going to show you guys all the books that I got in the last couple of months, weeks. And um, the first one, which, you know, no surprise, is A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J Maas. And um, the end papers do look quite cool. I haven't read this so far. Um, this is the 
fourth book in the A Court of Thorns and Rose series and if you haven't heard of it it's basically just this fantasy world with fays and fairies and um a lot of romance and it's a great time I personally love it I think it's definitely one of my favorite series Sarah J Mass's fantasy series are just you know they're they're a great time if you want to sink into a world and have a great time check these out because they're amazing but yeah I haven't read this one yet I'm gonna say I'm not a huge fan of Nesta um I genuinely think she is a terrible person <laughs> in the first book especially and she doesn't really get better in the other ones so um and I think this is like supposed to be like kind of a redemption arc for her but the thing is it talks a lot about the trauma that she's experienced but the, the trauma that she's experienced happens after she is a very terrible person towards the main character in the first three books so I'm not sure if I'm actually going to be convinced but um I'm interested to see how I like it and yeah uh, the next one I got is Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare and it's this really really cute um I think a Pan Macmillan edition and look how beautiful this is cloth bound and it has like this really beautiful design on the front and um it has like gold edges and really beautiful end papers and i've just been wanting to read romeo and juliet for forever i have the the t-shirt you know the romeo and juliet so i feel like it's time um and then i'd like to read um because in school when i was reading the metamorphosis by Ovid, uh, I read Pyramus and Thispa, which is what this is based on originally. So I would like to reread that after I read this to kind of like compare the parallels because there are a lot. But yeah, that's that. Um, and then I got Inward by Young Pueblo, which is like one of those spiritual poetry books that is um, being recommended everywhere. And yeah I'm excited I don't know much more about this just that I've seen it in a lot of aesthetic pictures and um yeah it's like I think this could be like a nice poem every day to meditate on or something you know I don't know maybe who knows <laughs> okay so the next book this is um Fat Chan's Charlie Vega and it's by Crystal Maldonado so this book is basically about Charlie Vega and it's about her relationship with her body her relationship with her mother kind of her navigating romance in her life and self-love and self-acceptance and it just sounds beautiful and I'm very excited and I think me and Liv are gonna buddy read this and I cannot wait you know I'm very excited and the last book which actually this was so weird because i left i ordered this book like right when i arrived back home over the winter break and then um it said that it was sold out so they didn't know when i was gonna get it delivered and then it arrived an hour before i left to go back to uni and i was home for two months so you know that was a weird coincidence but yeah this is the invisible life of adi larue by v e schwab and i'm very excited to finally have this book because it was sold out for such a long time and i just feel like it was fate you know it literally arrived an hour before i left um so yeah i'm excited to read this eventually i have so many books that i am reading want wanting to read right now so probably it will take a while but i'm i'm glad i finally have it and this is a nice matte cover you know um next up we have some lush products because um, it gets really really cold here and i love taking baths and so i was like i'm gonna treat myself with some bath bombs you know and i haven't used them yet so i could show you guys <laughs> um, and first of all i got this really cute looking um bath bomb <laughs> which is just like a fuzzy bath so it's not a soapy bath and this one is called marshmallow world <laughs> smells really really good it's like kind of the classic lush scent you know when you go into lush that's kind of what it smells like and it's described as sweet 
pink vanilla soaks and you know I love vanilla I love sweet pink things <laughs> I actually don't but I do love vanilla and ooh, this smells nice I am excited um okay the next one I have is this one and it's called 4 20 p.m um I just realized the connection okay well it's a CBD bath bomb and CBD is kind of like an oil that is infused with hemp I think or like that hemp plant and it's supposed to relax you it does not make you high it's not illegal um it's just yeah something that has a relaxing effect on your body when you kind of the scent and stuff and it smells quite musky and I like it. It's like, yeah, it's kind of like a mus musky fresh scent. I'm so terrible at this, but yeah. <laughs> I really like the scent, actually. The longer I smell it, the more I like it. The last one I got, which is one I always buy because it's so nice. And this one is a soapy, uh, soapy. This one is a bubble bath bar so you just take like little bits of it and then crumble and then you have a bubble bath which is amazing and I think it looks so pretty and the scent is just amazing um so this is it's called sleepy and it smells like lavender but like not even just lavender it just smells like an elevated lavender scent if you've smelled the sleepy um body cream what it's called body lotion or the body wash I have the body lotion because it just smells so good I love it so much and this is basically the bubble bar for that you know how amazing I love that and yeah those are the three bath bombs that I got um I just yeah I love taking baths and using a bath bomb just makes me feel very fancy and like I'm properly pampering myself but yeah that is the end <laughs> of my haul thank you so much for watching this is probably really long um let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in me doing like a sustainability with lily series or something <laughs> like um just my journey of becoming more sustainable because i really want to make an effort to become more sustainable and it really is something where you just have to put your own convenience last sometimes you know and um I definitely believe that even if you are not perfect and you're not doing it all, that's not the point. You don't have to be vegan and completely waste free and all that stuff, which if you are, that is great. But you don't have to feel like you need to do it all or nothing. It's definitely a thing where every small single thing helps. And if you start using like a reusable cup, you know, or if you start using a menstrual cup or if you start swapping things and making easy tiny swaps and then building that up that already helps um so yeah i'd like to do a whole series on that but um let me know your thoughts let me know how you liked it like this video please like and subscribe if you want to and i'll see you soon with another video